Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so, as for the research week of University of Moratua, we, uh, as we present the, our research project as drying of silate agricultural products in packed bed and fluidized bed dryers. As the supervisor of this project is, uh, was conducted by uh, Professor Padma Amar Singh and uh, me and Dasun Veera Singh is the uh, research person's research team was there and uh, so initially we initiate this uh, as a research project but due to the this covid pandemic situation we could end up with this like a research review article so next uh, we can move to the next slide introduction to the research part uh, we can identify that uh, uh, in modern world, food crisis is uh, one of mainly discussionable point topic in the not only Sri Lanka and uh, as well uh, all over the countries in the worldwide. So, as a solution, we can go like uh, for that problem. Food preservation is one of most important concerns that all over the current world is going to approach and uh, start to approach. So in that case, uh, one of uh, method like uh, food drying, we can identify it as main food preservation method uh, due to the and uh, improving shelf life and preserve the quality and other flavors and as well as the due to the lower transportation cost cost uh, like uh, benefits. When it comes to the scope of this research, uh, we mainly have our main approach is to consider the packed bed and fluidized bed dryers and also the hybrid techniques uh, with related to this packed bed and fluidized bed. So basically we uh, select few agricultural products and uh, we uh, basically research the behavior of particular agricultural products in uh, these pack bed and fluidized bed dryer systems so this overall research is research review article is based on that part here as you can see the main uh, proposed equipment structure as uh, we implemented all this already here in our university of Moroto uh, lab and uh, there is so one in the one end there is air blower and air blow is connected with heat and heating is provided by heat and uh, there is temperature controller to uh, make the vary the temperature in heater and also there is anemometer to measure the flow uh, velocity and the overall flow is connected to the upward uh, bed pack bed and this end of the top of the pack this pack bed uh, is connected to the cyclo so this is the uh, uh, proposed equipment structure of this uh, apparatus okay now onwards i discuss the fluidized bed dryers and uh, how are the selected uh, agricultural products behave in the fluidized bed dryer system? So basically, as the paddy is uh, one of key, uh, we can address key agricultural product. So basically, we know the conventional method as uh, paddies as paraboil paddies drying under normal solar heat under heat about nearly six to eight hours. So we uh, realized that using this fluidized bed dryer system, it would be eligible to reduce and uh, like uh, th three hours as an optimum temperate uh, timeline. So because of this uh, fluidized bed dryer system, we can achieve like uh, higher heat transfer, mass transfer rates and excellent temperature control and operation up to at highest temperature and higher drying capacity like these type of benefits we can achieve these for the fluidized bed drying system for paddy
when it comes to the red chili pepper on the fluidized bed drying system we all know that as the conventional method is uh, to preserve the red chili is to dry up under solar heat and lay in the chili in the large open area near this like 96 hours so as a key findings uh, we got that uh, it will take, it would be take 62 hours nearly would taken to reduce moisture level up to the standard red chili uh, dried red chili using fluidized bed dryers and uh, basically it's need to mention that in the challenges in fluidized bed dryer in uh, for chili is uh, the higher flow rate and hot dot formation in fluidized bed dryers May lead to high moisture variation of the red chili as well as due to that uh, it will damage the considerable loss of quality of the product so uh, this point is also as uh, we got and we key finding for the red chili paper with in the fluid bed dry system come to the black paper as so a me key findings we got that fluid bed dry is the excellent purposeful uh, equipment for the black paper drying rather than all over the drying methods so uh, as an other key findings the effect of air velocity of the fluidized bed dryer was too negligible compared to the effect of temperatures so that means when it's uh, when we dry in the black paper and fluidized bed drying we need to focus on more temperature parameters rather than other uh, varied parameters now onwards i am explaining the pack bed dryers and uh, select the selected agricultural products behave in the pack bed dry system so as and key agricultural product paddy is uh, one of key suitable uh, agricultural product for drying in pack bed dry system so as an investigation we uh, got the key findings that uh, effect of bed thickness on the drying rate is one of three critical factor in this uh, paddy drying so basically uh, the industry has also moved to this uh, concepts we can uh, categorize in the three uh, pack bed dryer style flat bed dryers inclined bed dryers and circular bin, dry, uh, bin dryers as you can see here the, the basically bed thickness is vary on the drying rate and uh, the key uh, qualities and uh, parameters also vary than uh, in the particular three scenarios As early slide mentioned, pack bed drying is pack bed drying system is mainly support to protect the agricultural product, physical product quality and nutrition quality. So, as an example for chili pepper, uh, pack bed drying system is very help to increase capsaicinoid concentration and increase carotenoids concentration. So, as a conclusion, it is highly recommended to use pack bed dry systems for chili paper like products. Same as black paper as well for pack bed dry system is very helpful to improve the quality perspective and the and product quality is like in uh, spiciness and uh, product weight and these things are uh, very strengthened due to pack bed dry systems now i am discussing the hybrid drying methods like uh, related with pack bed drying and fluid as bed drying as an example the hybrid drying methods can be incorporated with pack bed drying and fluid as bed drying systems like uh, solar drying assistant hybrid methods and heat pump assistant hybrid drying methods and infrared heat assistant hybrid drying method and uh, uv ultrasonic transistor uh, assistant hybrid drying methods can be already incorporated with these techniques
so this is the main uh, comparison wise uh, key uh, benefits and the advantages and disadvantages wise uh, comparison for each assistant methods so as the and the end of our review project review article we uh, find the what are the research gaps and limitation opportunities for further research improvement in these areas so as the main key identified points that uh, when you scale up these fake bed and uh, fluid as bed dryers uh, we can more focus on identify the effect of hydrodynamic parameters and energy consumption and quality of the products and uh, these things can be furthermore improved and the other thing is uh, we can more focus on pack bed drying systems and uh, we can more focus on more is investigation on uh, uh, for furthermore agriculture products with pack bed drying so these are the benefits uh, these are the things that we have identified in research gaps and furthermore improvement opportunities for future researchers so this is the end of our presentation so thank you very much